This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. It is no secret that Mozambique stands as a reservoir of abundant green energy resources, which makes it a potential powerhouse in the renewable energy sector. Blessed with vast hydropower potential from its extensive river networks, notably the Zambezi River, the country also boasts substantial wind and solar energy potential along its coastal areas. Additionally, recent discoveries of natural gas reserves offshore further contribute to Mozambique's energy wealth. Despite these valuable assets, Mozambique continues to grapple with poverty, ranking among the world's poorest nations. However, all that is set to change, as Mozambique is poised to harness its energy resources with a mega $80 billion investment that will make it one of Africa's biggest green energy producers. How does the Mozambique government plan to achieve this? What energy sectors will Mozambique focus on? And how will Mozambique's ambitious energy transition and expansion plans ultimately benefit the country? In today's video, we will shed more light on these questions and many more. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Mozambique is setting its sights on becoming a major player in Africa's green energy market with a two-pronged approach, hydropower and green hydrogen. The government's ambitious plan outlined in its energy transition strategy aims to add a hopping 14,000 megawatts of hydropower capacity, primarily between 2030 and 2040. Alongside this, Mozambique plans to launch a green hydrogen program this year and is set to release its hydrogen strategy during the course of 2024. Mozambique's government puts the cost of this plan at $80 billion by 2050. The energy transition plan, while ambitious, is similar to those presented by South Africa, Senegal, Indonesia, and Vietnam, which have received finance pledges totaling $47 billion from some of the world's wealthiest countries to reduce their dependence on coal and other fossil fuels. At the heart of Mozambique's plan to expand its hydropower capacity is the mighty Zambezi River, Africa's fourth longest. The government already operates the 2,075 megawatt Kahora Basa power plant on the river, and a consortium led by Total Energy Southeast and Japan's Sunitomo Corp is developing the 1,500 megawatts, $5 billion Mfanda Nkua Dam. According to the country's energy transition plan, Mozambique wants to add 9,000 megawatts of hydropower in the decade to 2040 and more in the following decade by drawing investment into projects, similar to the technique used with Mpanda and Kua. The government, which has consistently emphasized the need for private investment because it cannot fund the programs itself, also intends to construct industrial parks to utilize the clean energy. Natural gas projects in the country's north are also expected to generate billions of dollars in revenue, but work has been stalled due to an Islamist militant insurgency. So how will Mozambique's ambitious energy transition and expansion plans ultimately benefit the country? Many experts agree that with this expansion, Mozambique would be able to rival Ethiopia and the Democratic Republic of the Congo in the supply of hydroelectric power. On the Blue Nile, Ethiopia has already constructed a massive hydroelectric facility called the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, and the Congo has long advocated building Grand Inca, which might be the largest hydro project in the world. But to compete continentally, Mozambique must first guarantee energy security at home. Mozambique currently faces major energy deficits, with about 49% of its population lacking access to electricity. According to recent reports, the nation is thinking of terminating its 50-year hydropower supply contract with South Africa. The goal is to repurpose the 1,150 megawatts of electricity that the Kahora Basa plant now sells to South Africa for domestic usage bolstering the country's own energy security and electrification goals. Although exports won't stop entirely, Mozambique will try to use as much of its own resources as possible to promote development and electrification, 
with 51% of the country's population now having access to power, up from 26% in 2017. The government stated that any agreed-upon export agreements would be shorter and have better conditions. The Southeast African country also wishes to expand its electricity grid, which currently prohibits hydropower from Kahorabasa from reaching the capital Maputo. An expansion would enable it to connect solar and wind farms, with initial costs projected at $2.54 billion. Overall, the goal is to add 7,500 megawatts of solar electricity and up to 2,500 megawatts of wind power. Other programs to decarbonize the economy include reducing the use of firewood and charcoal for cooking by connecting more people to the grid and making liquefied natural gas more accessible. Public transport will also transition from diesel to cleaner options. Aside from being more competitive in the African green energy space, another benefit Mozambique will enjoy from this expansion is a transformative pathway towards economic prosperity and industrialization. Mozambique has vast energy assets, said the government. The strategic use of these energy assets can accelerate the transition to a middle-income industrialized economy. Indeed, many experts agree with the Mozambique government's assertion that the bold green energy plan holds the potential to be a game-changer for the nation, propelling it towards a brighter future as a middle-income industrialized economy. This is because the planned 14,000 megawatt hydropower boost, coming to fruition primarily between 2030 and 2040, promises not only domestic energy security and electrification, but also cheap and reliable power for burgeoning industries. This, coupled with the Green Hydrogen Program, set to launch this year, can attract investments, create high-skilled jobs, and diversify the currently agrarian economy. By becoming a regional green energy exporter, Mozambique can unlock significant revenue streams, fostering economic growth and lifting itself out of poverty. This ambitious plan embodies the aspirations of a nation finally seizing its immense green energy potential, not just for basic needs but for industrialization and economic transformation, rewriting its post-independence narrative from impoverished to a thriving center of green energy and industry. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Mozambique's ambitious $80 billion green energy expansion and transition plan? Share your insights and thoughts in the comments below. For continued updates on global affairs and diplomatic developments, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa channel. Stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.